Welcome to Business News. The Manufacturers Association of Nigeria has urged the federal government to maintain all measures to boost the level of liquidity and degree of transparency in the official forex window, even as the backlog of $7 billion forex obligations is being cleared. Government was also advised to manage the floating exchange rate system within an acceptable lower and upper bound, pending the actualization of a net export and economic aspirations. President of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Francis Meshoye, gave this advice during the presidential launching and man 2023 Reporter of the Year. Meshoye also said the Apex Bank should allow Forex access for importation of vital industrial inputs that are currently not available locally and subject them to backward integration policy that gives priority to a predictable sunset clause. Meanwhile, speaking on the recent ban on the sale of alcoholic beverages in sachets in pet bottles less than 200 ml, the Director General of the Association, Shegun Ajayi Kader, is of the opinion that the issue raised by NAFDAQ for its decision is unfounded. There is no way you clear your goals at the high interest rate and you not factor into your price. So what will happen is that the new little amount you have will go on and will not have other money or you don't buy at the part of close. So if we are looking at why are we closing shops, ask customers, are you not guilty of the manufacturers living in our country? Then you are counterproductive. You are sending manufacturers right away and you are calling them to come and invest. Gentlemen, how does this sound to each one of us? Awkward, right? Is it awkward? Awkward. We have the answer. So please, help us telling government in our bookcase that please, this institution, this agency should be supportive of you and I rather than ruining the future of Nigeria. The issues they raised was the issue of underage drinking and abuse which is totally unfounded, it's unscientific. And what we said is that NAVDAC is a science-driven uh, agency of government that should rely on facts and data. And there's a history to it. Even though our members signed the agreement 2018 that it will be, uh, that will be uh, banned, so to say, or discontinuation of production in 2024, but what has happened since then? During this in, uh, interlude, if I may use the word, they are, we were working together with NAVDA. We conducted a, a, a study endorsed by NAVDA, and the result came out that a ban would be counterproductive, that you only open the market or leave the market for illicit, and that people should resort to other unwholesome uh, alcoholic beverages. 